Hello viewers, here is a 52 inch Hampton Bay Genoa ceiling fan in antique brass. See if we can take a look at the information tag. Here it is. This is the model AC852. Made in the Taiwan. Motor pulls 0.8 amps and it is from January 1991. And it does in fact carry the infamous BB logo, whatever that means. This is a very significant acquisition because it's kind of an unusual situation. This is the exact instance not just the same model this is the instance of the fan that was in my uncle's computer room for as, as long as I've been alive I've acquired a lot of fans that are the same model as the ones that I remember and was looking for but I think this is the only instance where I have the fan itself that was there. I remember this fan pretty well. Uh, my uncle, my aunt and uncle's house, they had a pool, and the pool had a deck that was attached to the computer room. And we used to go over there to go in a pool, and I remember always seeing this fan in there. And uh, you know, when we would go over there for family functions or whatever. I would always, when I was younger, I would always go in the computer room and I would turn this thing on. And my uncle remembers me doing that because he would always put it on low. Uh, he always had it going. It was always on low. And I would go in there and put it up to high. And he remembered that very well because it would always blow all the papers he had off of the, the computer table. And so they moved out. I don't know, however, well, it, was, it was a while ago now. And this was one of several items that I was able to acquire uh, from their house. They had a number of other Silent fans. I didn't really remember them. This was the only one that I remembered distinctly. So when, I, when the situation came up, I was talking to my other uncle and I asked if he could extract this from the house and he was able to do so. Um, I, I didn't really... I, I went over there eventually later on and then I saw the other fan and said, ah, geez, I should have asked if he grabbed the other fans too, but it was too late at that point because the sale had already gone into contingency and you can't modify appliances like that once it happens. So I couldn't take the other fans, but I'm glad I got this one because this was the one that I really remembered and I, I liked this one. So so this is the fan. Um, it's in pretty good condition. It's pretty dusty. It needs a good cleaning, but I just never really got around to it because I mean it's my uncle's dust I'm not, just, not that concerned about it. you know sometimes you get these fans out of the trash and it's dust who the heck knows where that dust came from you know if a little bit of dust flies around the bedroom when I turned it on it whatever um, it, <laughs> it it's a lot better than it was it still needs to get a good cleaning but it's it's better than it was I did wipe it down um, other than that, I mean, it's it's really in pretty good condition. This is the, I'm only the second owner. It's been hanging in that room for almost well, almost three decades, and uh, you know it, it's got a lot of hours on it. He always had the thing going, but it still runs just fine. Bearings are quiet. There's a lot of people that that uh, knock these fans, these Hampton Bay fans, and I don't get it because especially the ones that came out of the '90s, it was good quality. I think this was made by the air cool and they they made good fans you know especially for the price these were like economy grade fans they weren't nothing special and you could pay you know triple digits plus three four hundred hours for a Casablanca or a Hammond Bay or not a, a Hunter back in the day and you could probably pay like I don't know 50 or 60 bucks for this and this is still running you know, a lot of the Casablanca's, the flywheels broke, the stupid and dumb touch and tell the garbage broke. And this is still going. And as far as air movement is concerned, I think these are on par with 
with the uh, hunter fans absolutely this is the chain configuration he used he had this on here and then he had this longer one for the for the fan so I left it as is it's not original of course it would have originally had two of these but for the sake of nostalgia I'm not I'm not changing it the way it, the way it is because it was always like that as far as I know uh, it's got a 60 watts or 53 I guess it is halogen bulb in there and that's working good and let's go ahead and start this up on the high very quiet fan I mean over to over the background noise outside, there's some leaf blowers or whatever going because we had a storm yesterday. Over the background noise from outside, I really can't even hear it. And it is whipping the air around, no problem. And this is a heavy plant you know this isn't a flimsy plant this is pretty heavy so if it moves this plant around it's moving the air that plants moving too I mean you could feel the air moving everywhere in the room it's working good the chain is moving the airflow over here where are we at got airflow behind me you know, it's 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 working. It's working good. It's moving a lot of air, and it's quiet. Very very quiet. It's not shaking. It's not wobbling. It's not vibrating. It's running good. No motor noise. Not humming or anything. No bearing noise, no clicking like the hunters do, no scraping, no grinding sounds. It's working flawlessly. 30 years later, still going. The blades are in good clock. Didn't have to mess with that at all. Go down to the medium. And this is completely inaudible at this point. Can't really hear it at all anymore. But it's still moving plenty of air. Even the heavy plant over here is still moving. Okay, and we'll go down to the low. The low seems kind of slow to me. I don't know if uh, maybe the cap is starting to drift or something. It was always used on low, so this winding and this capacitor has quite a few hours on it. So I wouldn't be surprised if it may be due for a new cap or something. But it's still running. not heating up or anything so I'm probably just gonna leave it as is I prefer slower low speed anyways and it's a very gentle breeze at this speed but it absolutely is still moving air
and feel it over the bed. The air is moving over there. So, I, I mean, you can't argue with these fans. They're good fans. Doesn't look like the blades are really warping at all either. does have a very faint hum on low. Yeah, I guess I should check the cap out and see what's going on. I bet it may have drifted a little bit. So, I mean, 30 years out of a relatively cheap, you know, one of those plastic capacitors is not bad. Those things aren't built like the old ones used to be. Those old metal caps from like uh, 70s and 80s, those things lasted for decades and decades. Those cheap little plastic ones, a couple decades is about as much as you're going to get out of those things. It seems like the bearings may be getting a little bit stiff. It seems to coast down a little faster than I think it should. That could also have something to do with why the low is going slower. But I don't think it's anything anywhere as near an issue yet. I think it's still perfectly fine as it is. And I don't plan to open it up and be changing bearings or anything like that. Um, just going to leave it alone because it's working. You know, don't mess with the equipment that works. So that's that. The uh, 52 inch Hampton Bay Genoa from my uncle's computer room.